Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed and welcome back to the next live segment of the 2023 Virtual Makers Retreat. I have an amazing special guest that I want to bring on to the floor with me today or into the show, however you want to call that. It is Jamie and it is the Crafters Workshop and I am absolutely in love and so excited that Jamie is here with us today. Hello! Hey! Good to see you. <laughs> You do. So we have been working together on and off or not on and off, but for a long time, like we've been, I've been helping you out at booths for the shows at Creativation. We've been doing videos together. We were just chit chatting about a possible new thing this summer, who knows? And it's just so exciting that you are on my channel because we have been working behind the scenes for so many years and thank you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm in New York and you're in Texas. I love this. And and there's been a couple of times I've been up in New York and you drove in and we walked the city. We did the High Line together. It was great. We had some sandwiches. We had some good pastrami sandwiches. Oh. So it was really nice to see you. That was uh, a year ago. I No, two years ago? A year ago. A year ago. It just showed up on my Facebook feed that I was there a year ago. How crazy is wow. that? <laughs> I love in New York because otherwise I don't do any of those New York things. I have to kind of be forced. Everyone, you know, you get stuck in your own little silo. Like, this is, this is what I do. This is where I go. So yeah, we're, I'm like 35 minutes north of New York city. And it takes, it takes you coming from Texas to like, get me over there. <laughs> it's what it is. So why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about you and a little bit about your company. Oh, I'd love to. So I'm Jamie from the crafters workshop. And we've been doing this for 26 years. I started off with a, a, a little scrapbooking and rubber stamping store. Um, and there just weren't the stencils that I wanted. So I drew my own, stuck them up in my store and people loved them. So little by little, I started um, getting phone calls from other stores, like in your area saying, hey, where'd you get those stencils? And I was like, I made them. and they would order them and we'd ship it out and little by little they ended up like first like florida and then california sometimes canada then the uk then australia and little by little we just we just started pollinating <laughs> so it, i finally you know my store was open seven days a week so and i had two little kids who were in the store with me all day every day and uh, I thought, you know, maybe five days a week would be a little bit better. I hear people do that. So I closed my store, but kept the wholesale stencil business. And now we ship to wonderful stores like the ones near you all day, every day. Oh, Monday to Friday. So that's <laughs> And now we make fun stuff to go with our stencils, because that was also one of my challenges was finding stuff that wouldn't be you know, slurpy, wet, and that would go underneath the stencil. So I, I had to develop um, special paste that we call stencil butter and stardust butter that work really nicely with our stencils. So that's what we did. And I love the stencil butters. I mean, I every time I play with them, it feels they are butter. They're so soft. They're so silky. And I just want to like eat it, but I know don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't. <laughs> but they just have that yumminess factor them, to them. And they're just phenomenal. Well, it's like, um, I love to bake. So it's um, it's like butter you left on your counter, like before you're gonna make Toll House cookies, that's the consistency of the butter. And I'm like, oh, God, do I it's love It's the perfect name. It's the perfect, somebody's asking, um, are you in Orange County, New York? Oh, we are in Westchester County, um, but I grew up <laughs> in Rockland County. And I go to Orange County when I wanna pick apples. There you go, there you go. That makes, that seems funny, Orange County to pick apples. I be Apple County. <laughs> uh, yeah, New York State is a big, big apple producer. And um, actually, the place where I grew up in Rockland County, I mean, my parents bought their house in 71, but um, the house was built in 69. And prior to 69, it was either marshland or apple orchards. So still, yeah, it's just beautiful. <laughs> I love coming up to New York and it's just, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful area of the country and it's so different from what we have here in Texas. And I still, every time I go there, I keep missing into the season. I, like I went there at the end of September, the beginning of October, but it still hadn't quite gotten there yet. I was really bummed. <laughs> Maybe November would be better for the change. I don't know. And it's gone. You're done. Oh, so I, I, I'm just like a week early or maybe it's just that particular year. It's just off. I mean, who knows? It's weather. 
Well, I actually all weird like that. I live in Terrytown, which um, is right next to Sleepy Hollow. So right now we are inundated with Halloween enthusiast. Um, As in like Legends of Sleepy Hollow, Sleepy Hollow. Oh, like, how fun! Like Washington Ooh. Irving, The Legend of yes. Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, Sleepy Hollow Cemetery, The Headless Horseman, um, the the Ride of Ichabod Crane. That is us. That is us. That is cool. Man, I need to come up there and see you and then do that at this time of year. That would be the okay. best thing ever. If you do, let me just, and anybody who plans on it, like I, all I see on Facebook right now is I can't get any tickets for the hayride. I can't, oh. I can't get tickets. You've got to be on the ball. Like when it goes on sale, I don't know, July, August, you need to be buying those tickets because otherwise you're just going to be walking around and eating like the rest of us do. <laughs> And that's fun too. We have like our Renaissance festivals where it looks like you're going back into the Renaissance, but there's also the pirates and then the barbarian weekends and stuff like that. And yeah, sometimes it gets sold out about a certain event or you didn't get into that, but it's just fun walking around and seeing the people and eating the food. So yeah, that's, it's, that's it's a combination of people in like, like Halloween, like um, orange and black kind of stuff. Like I'm wearing my Halloween sweater and I'm like, oh, it looks real nice. And then, um, and then there are the ones who come all goth like in their wow. black fishnet stockings and their black lace. God, I don't even know why. I don't, yeah, I have no idea. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody's welcome. Come say, you know, let us know if you're in town. We don't, we don't, we're not open to the public, but you can post it on, uh, on Instagram or Facebook, we're at TCW Stencils. If you want to um, ever post something you've done or if you're in town and doing crazy Halloween stuff. <laughs> I love it. So we're gonna do a little creating with you today, right? <laughs> we're gonna play with something. You got some new products that you're itching to show us. So I'm gonna pull her off screen so she can flip her screen around real fast and get herself ready. So just as a heads up, there's giveaways going on with all of our live streams that we are doing for everybody to watch. So all of our sponsor live streams, we have giveaways, our morning giveaways. Don't forget to go in and put yourself in. If you've already entered in the giveaway, then you are good to go. There is a giveaway and I will be announcing the winner at the end of the live. So I'll be selecting our lucky winner from our giveaway prizes. And it is this yummy stencil pack that we have right here. It is so much fun. So if you have any questions for Jamie, feel free to ask the questions as she is here. Um, she has a wealth of knowledge in our industry. She's been around for a long time and she knows so much and I believe she is ready to go. So we're going to pop her back on screen and there you go. There she is. Look how cool. I am going to give her full screen now. Take it away. Yay. Well, in case you don't know, we came out with eight beautiful new stencils. They are delicious colors. I'll just show you. This is seashell. Isn't that gorgeous? I'll open some up, but this is driftwood. And probably your local store is just getting them in now. And I'm telling you, we're we are almost out of a few of them in our warehouse. So um, we're we're madly making more batches of this. So if you see this in your store, if it's available, I would get it. So this is grass. <laughs> this one is oyster. And oh, I, love them. I don't know if you can kind of, I mean, they are so subtle. This has like a minty green tinge and this has a warm kind of, um, what's the, like, I was about to say, oh, there's a really pretty color. It's not ochre, um, like kind of like a, what, a crew. That's what I'm thinking. This is kind of, oh, like, I was saying like pearl or it's not pearl. quite pearl. Yeah. yeah. This one is sea glass. Look how gorgeous. There's my favorite. That's my hands down. My favorite one so far. I know, I know. This one is Dune. So it's kind of more of a straw. So just to show you, like this one is Dune and this one is seashell. I mean, just the subtleties are amazing. Then we have, this is kind of like a statement one. This is Stormy. I love this because it's not gray and it's not blue. It's just something in the middle. And then there's this guy. This is our Ocean Mist and it's, like I said, it's not aqua and it's not light blue and it's it's not sea glass. I mean, they are friends, but they are not the same. 
So, and you can mix and match the colors. You can blend them together if you want to blend like a paint to put two colors together to make your own hue, correct? Oh my gosh, yes. And which I do a lot. <laughs> but like, this is just an example. This is one of our layered stencils, but they're so subtle. So for a stencil, this is actually a Christmas one. This is a Christmas layered stencil. And there's um, there's a Santa going across the 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 one that that you know it's like one of the layers. But I just didn't do that layer. I mean, this is such a great card for a guy. I'll have to look. I did I write the number? Oh no, I didn't write the number. I'm not that brilliant. This one is this is with oh I did it with all stencil butter. Some of them I've also done with um, and we have four new foils also. And this is just a pretty one. And a lot of times I'll actually make paper to go. Like here's an example of paper where I've, this one is it. I've taken the oyster and then I've just literally painted paper and made a matching background. So that's what this is, a matching background. I just love that. You always have a little bit left over. I was going to say, you always have a little bit left over on your palette sheet. So we just came out with these new palette sheets, palette paper pad. And here's an example, I was using this and the palette paper pad is attached at both the bottom and the top. And all you do is tear it off and then you have a new sheet ready to go, but it's it's attached here. So it won't, it doesn't move on you. So I always have leftovers. And when I have leftovers, I make paper. And I, you know, I might use just this section here. This, I added a little bit of water and I got kind of a watercolor effect. Um, here's another one where I added a little watercolor, a couple of different colors together. Pretty. And you, you get these nice brush strokes, but you also get like an iridescent. This is by the way, on our watercolor paper that we sell in a, I think a four pack. I don't have it in front of me, but we have watercolor paper, which I love. It has a, a like a, a textured side, but it also has a smooth side. So depending on what I'm doing determines what side I do it on. So, so we do have a question about, do you ship to the UK or do you know of any stores in the UK that have your products? Oh, let me think. I don't think we have shipped to the UK yet, but um, does scrapbook.com ship to the UK? I believe they do. Yeah. Believe, and so they have your whole line. Yeah, so we go with scrapbook.com. Um, I know that there are other, um, the Simon, uh, Simon Says Stamp is about to have everything in stock or a lot in stock. Oh, nice. They might also ship to the UK. It's, it's expensive. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we do have a couple of nice um, stockists. And what you can always do is mention this to your local store and say, hey, you know, those nice people in New York, they would, you know, they would love for you to, <laughs> To buy this we also sell to distributors who they might buy from too so um yeah just um just give us a good word you know and and maybe they'll they'll bring it in because i think they're all so delicious so they are yeah oh you know what else we came out with i don't know if you've you've played around with our here, let me get the ones we currently have you know i we have these stardust butters which are super duper fine glitter in a clear gel. So we have champagne. This is, we have, that's, that one. that's the new one. I'm gonna show you the old ones first. Pearl white, which is like, I mean, super fine. You know that in order for it to go through a stencil, the glitter has to be really, really fine. So, so we've got pearl white, champagne, platinum. I mean, just, just look at that. That is like, and it's not like, pop your eyeballs out shiny. It kind of has a more mature, um, subtle look to it. And there's a last one. Ah, this is Marcasite. It's not black, but it's just very, you can kind of, you can see that like very subtle, very sophisticated. So these have been hugely popular. And so this season we came out with rose gold, which I personally love at Christmas time. And I'll show you some samples I have. Oh, Here's an example of the, um, this is the champagne gold through a stencil. Can you see how super fine that is? And so rich. So pretty. Yep. So we just came out with the um, rose gold and 
Here it is on gold, which is kind of neat. Look at how fine, I mean, really fine, the details. I just love that. I mean, you know, my stencils are cut very fine, but um, then you need something that will go through and, and not just block the holes, but actually go through it. And then we came out with this opalescent. So a few people asked me, what's the difference between opalescent and white? They look very similar. They're both in clear gel, but what I did was I used one of our, our snow, um, what is this one called? This one is TCW, oh my goodness gracious. One, is it Snowflake Frenzy? <laughs> 1057, I think, it, yeah, 1057S for small. It's this guy right here. No, Snowflake Sparkle. Sparkle, okay. Yeah. I was close. So, <laughs> so this is, on, you know this paper, everyone knows this paper. It's kind of like a periwinkle um, shimmer paper. Now look at the difference. This is the white of our of our stardust. So this is pearl white stardust, TCW 9085. And then now look at this one. This one is the opalescent. So it has like literally opal like sparkles in it, not white, super fine. And it, but it does, it allows some of the color from underneath to come through. So just to show you a little bit more, I created, like I just showed you, I did a piece of paper. Oh, here we go. So I made myself a piece of paper and then I did the opalescent over it. Now look at that. Very, very subtle. If it were white, it would be like, pop your eyeballs out, right? You would see, it would be white, white, this is white. But because I use the opalescent, it's it's a very subtle background that then I could have, you know, like a here, you know, some some amazing image right here. Sometimes you just want that very subtle, quiet background, but you want it to be elegant and you want it to be sophisticated. And I feel like a lot of times that's what our products are. Our products are when, you know, I meet people at a dinner party and they're like, oh, that's so sweet. You do crafts. I should bring my <laughs> three-year-old over. And I'm like, no, no I, I do very nice things for very nice people who are adults. So, uh, <laughs> you know, this is definitely adulting. This is really, really nice. It's art therapy. You're getting your all your endorphins from creating something beautiful and that sense of satisfaction by making something amazing. That's yeah. what I call that. It's, yeah. Yes, I agree. So I am going to make something amazing. Let we have a quick question. And oh, yeah. the question is, can you foil with paste? Oh my gosh. I love that question. Hold on. I actually, I'm, and since I'm like, I'm such a visual learner, I'm gonna have a visual answer. So here's, here are all my foils. I keep them in a little basket after I open them so I can just pluck out what I need. Yeah, and trying to put them back inside the package once you've opened it is a bear. Don't do that. Bear. <laughs> I, whoever that was, thank you for that question because I feel like you were planted in the audience for me. So we do sell, um, oh, probably... 12, maybe 12 colors of foil now. So we have one that matches Stormy. So look at how nice, very, very matchy matchy. So we've got Stormy, we have Dune. So this is sort of, it's a gold in some ways, but it's very matte. And sometimes, like I said, you don't want something that pops your eyeballs out. You just want something subtle. This one is beach glass and it has like this little kind of an iridescent to it kind of see that it's not quite green it's not quite gold it's it's somewhere in the middle and again it's all about subtleties and then this one is ocean mist which is right here but honestly I like both ocean mist and I like sea glass with them because they're both they're all very they're friends everybody's friends so these are the four new foils that we have and if you I don't know if you know this but we sell this amazing product called tacky when dry because guess what it's tacky when dry so I'm going to do a quick demo here I'm taking a a sheet of um, my watercolor paper and I cut it to um, six by six and I'm going to take my 
Snowflake Sparkle Stencil. Say that 10 times fast. 1057S as in small. And just so you know, I'm looking right here because you can see we etch our name, the Crafters Workshop here. And then we put our style number here so that you, like, let's say you're someplace and you see somebody's stencil who you really, and you want it, <laughs> you're coveting it. This is how you find out if it's ours and what the style number is. So I just... From my standpoint and doing the videos, knowing the numbers at the bottom has been a lifesaver for me. So thank you for doing that. Oh. <laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to do a demo on how to apply the Tacky When Dry, Tacky When Dry, TCW 9049. So it looks white in the container, um, but it dries clear and it does dry somewhat fast. So I typically take some on the bottom of my palette knife and then I do my best to close this up or at least put the cap like that because it'll start drying and that's that's not gonna work well. So the other thing I do, you could w work on a mat, you can, I wouldn't tape it down because I'm going to the edges, but you do need the stencil to be flush. So I'm gonna just gently lay it down and then glide it as if I'm um, frosting a cake for those who frost cakes. If you don't frost cakes, <laughs> you just eat cakes. Um, I am turning my palette knife at a 45 degree angle and I'm, I'm not scraping hard, but I am just, and I'm not over scraping and I'm not going over and over the same area. I'm just putting it down, moving on. This is not, you know, it's funny. If you, if you ever watch Ken Oliver, man, do I love him, but he like goes over and over. And I'm like, how does he do that? Cause if I were to do that, it would just be a big globby mess. So it's a little, there's a little, uh, see these little ripples right here. I want to make sure I flatten that, but I get all of my areas covered. And I'm going to do this last part here. And that's it. I'm going to stop playing. And I'm also not putting this back in my um, Tacky When Dry because it's already starting to dry and I don't want to get dry stuff in my in my jar. I'm going to pick it up from the corner and watch how I roll it back. And that's how I make sure that I don't accidentally drop this down on my project. This is going immediately, let me show you, into my water. Uh, I'll bring this up so you can kind of see. I have this like, this little uh, dish pan. I used to use it for camping. I had to buy a new one. And I just keep it under the table since I'm in a room that does not have water. And then I'm gonna lift this up carefully. Um, I could clean up the edges or I could just like, Leave it alone. Usually, and I'm going to trim the edges. So I will put this somewhere away from kids and cats. Let me just go. <laughs> Hair is the nemesis of tacky when dry. <laughs> so just to let you know that that will be dry. I would say in probably 30 minutes. You want it to be completely, completely dry. Um, I'll sometimes here, let me just wipe this off. I'll sometimes um, set up a um, a fan and just let it dry that way. But I was smart enough. Let's see. I was smart enough to make one ahead of time. Um, I wonder if it did it fall. I'm so smart. This is this is my problem. I'm so smart. That so smart you can't find the thing that you made I'm, earlier. It's, it has poofed oof. into thin air. Oh. <laughs> okay. The wonders of television. So... Um, <laughs> Do you see how clear it is now? Do you remember how white it was here? I'm just going to show you. Remember, it was really white. See how this was? And now it's completely clear. And by the way, this, I have to be a good girl and wipe it off. And I'm going to also throw it into the same bath of water. Okay. So now here comes the fun part. This, by the way, I would definitely leave oh, 30, 45 minutes for it to dry, possibly in front of a fan. You could let it dry overnight. You can even set a whole bunch of these up and deal with it next month. I just warn you, put a once it's completely dry like this, put a piece of wax paper over it and then you can stack them. If you put anything on top of this, it's gonna stick because it's tacky when dry. <laughs> so the other neat thing I learned is it works really well if you take your heat gun your heat tool and warm it. And the way I discovered this was my hands were cold in the winter. And I was like, oh, I need to, uh, 
I, I, it's just like my fingers were cold. I wasn't getting a good, a good stick to it. So before I start that, I'm going to, I'm going to pick some ocean mist because I think ocean mist is so pretty. Grab one. Do you have a favorite color in all of your lines? Ooh. You gravitate to one over the other. Well, I do love blue. I'm a, I am such a, I'm such a blue girl. That's, I mean, I just think that this color is, I want to, I want an entire kitchen of this with like, um, white, um, white subway tile and white clear tile. Like that's what I would really like. But I think for this project, I am going to use that plus the, um, let me use these guys together. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, that look pretty together. Might yeah. look Okay, so I'm gonna warm it up for a moment. I'm just warming. I am not bubbling. I'm just warming. There's another question while you're doing that, and it says, are you able to use red rubber stamps with a tacky when dry? That's interesting. I, you know, I have tried similar techniques and um, I think you probably could get if you've ever done it, if you're the type of person who's had success doing that um, with paint, because there's there's definitely a technique. By the way, I'm just going to tell you, it's the pretty side up. So there's the gray side, the silver side, and then the pretty side, pretty side up. I'm going to do most of it, and then I'm going to come back and see if it's a highlight anything. Um, so when I've done that, you have to make sure that you probably are putting whatever it is, paint or tacky when dry, onto an absorbent surface. And then you're tap, tap, tapping your red rubber onto it. And then you're you're releasing it onto the paper. Um, so it does take a little bit of expertise, I think. The answer is yes. And if you do that, just like if you were going to do that with paint or ink, you know, fresh ink, you have to make sure that you then um, you clean it right away because otherwise you will have a forever sticky red rubber um, stamp. Now, notice that I am just using the bottoms of my fingers. I'm just kind of burnishing with the bottom. I'm not scratching. Do not scratch. So I'm just. So your new tool would not be a good idea for this. I don't think so. I didn't think okay. to use it that way. Oh, that's. And I. That's right. Hang on. Thank you for that little uh, plug. We have a very <laughs> a new spreader tool that I purposely made it pop your eyeballs out green because how many times ha can't I find my like my white tool because it's like it matches like my surface. I don't know if mm -hmm. I can. That's interesting. I'll have to test that out. So let's see how this. Ooh. Ooh. ooh, ooh yeah. Look at that. Ooh, that, that transferred beautifully. And then I'm thinking there are a couple little areas that I, I it, may, it just didn't have the same. And I think I'm going to go in and just highlight it with the. Um, so anywhere that there's still foil, even on the snowflake one that you pulled, there's still lots of color left on that foil. You can still use it. It's not like it's, oh, it's done. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I would I would definitely use all these little places for sure. Absolutely. But then but these little uh dots in the middle, they they didn't they must have been a little bit lower. But you see what I'm doing? I'm just lining up a piece and I'm pushing and then pulling. And now I'm getting like a two-tone effect. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. So I could go keep going, keep going. And then I have just this wonderful shiny background. It could be a background of a card. It could be you could cut out and be the tag. I mean, sky's the limit. You've basically made your own shiny background paper or paper for something. So it's gorgeous. Yeah. So I'll just, I'm, I'm going to do one more quickie. I I'll try to do it super duper duper fast. I'm going to, this, this is ombre. This is an ombre technique. And we're going to use the little scraper tool. I'm going to use um, this one. Trees 1044S Canopy, Tree Canopy. You know, I am the worst at remembering the names of my stencils. I like, it's like I give birth to them and then I'm done. So, <laughs> so. Well, and you have designers that help you design some of the stencils, but you design a lot of the stencils yourself too, correct? I do. And I curate all of them. So they all, they all have like gone through the process of, of me looking at them and deciding, you know, 
is this is this what I want? Is this the what I need? Um, yeah, because I I really feel it's important. Like you ever sometimes I just felt like and when I had a store, people came out with with quote unquote new stuff, and I would be like, really? Why did uh, th why? I just feel everything should have a reason for. Oh, I'm just show you how pretty this is. It's like so delicious. Um, everything should have a reason for being. Like not just because I decided. You know, I never am like, oh, we have to have. 14 of these types of stencils like no I want to have like really good stuff and it, when we have enough good stuff I'm I'm good look at that oh <laughs> I, so do you ever put some of your stencil butter back inside the jar I don't I don't because I found that I would get these like boogers of colors <laughs> and I'm sorry that it, it's not, so not worth it I just it you know I just was like it, and then you're scraping it through a stencil and you've got this giant booger. Come on. That's what it is. And it just messes up everything. So. So somebody made a comment that going back to the foil, that snowflake one, you could then, can you take your toner or your cards? Sorry. Can you take your foil and then use that on toner cardstock? So would it go through a heat machine if you wanted to do the negative portion of that? That's a good question. <laughs> I, I think maybe, I don't think so. I think that somebody told me that you couldn't, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So so I don't know. That's a good question. It definitely sticks to like double stick tape, um, that sort of thing. So yeah. Anyway, I am going to, what I want is an ombre look. I don't know where my ombre, well, I had an ombre card, but anyway, you're now, you're now you're gonna see it. So I think I'm gonna start with, Actually. So what was the, somebody's also asking, what's the name of the one that's kind of more platinum colored that you have? Oh. There is a platinum as a heads up. There is a so. platinum, yes. But yeah, hang on. So the that one right there, I believe that that is probably this one, Driftwood. Ooh. Yeah, that's probably more the platinum of the colors that are down there. But be careful because there is a true platinum. This one's a little bit of a different shade. There is, there is. So I have found, let's see, I think what I'm going to do I'm gonna pick up a little bit on the underside. And I think, I think I'm just going to... Can you scooch the whole thing up just a tiny bit where the bottom of it's a little bit off screen? Thank you, thank you. I'm so glad you're, you're... welcome. Oh, also somebody's making a comment going, boogers of color is the quote of the day. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, I'm gonna line up my color. So this one is Dune. And then I'm gonna do, this one was Oyster. So I'm gonna put oyster right here. It almost and, has a, that oyster has a little bit of a hint of a greenish color to it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Now I'm going to the driftwood. I'm gonna put driftwood over here. I'm going to put the uh, sea glass. I'm gonna put sea glass up here. And then I'm gonna put the stormy over here. I'm sure there are lots of ways of doing this, but um, Oh, I didn't do my, I didn't do the green. Hang on. I know what I wanted. And then this one is the seagrass. I'm going to put that over here. Okay. So now I've got these guys all lined up and I'm going to take my fancy schmancy. This is called a, um, a butta, a butta spreada. Hang on. <laughs> my plug just came. Let me just make sure I don't lose you. Oh no, don't lose us. No, no, no. I know. Oh well. Oh, hang on. Let me just hold on. Just plug it in. Okay. I had 20%. And I'm like, that could that could end badly. Okay. That could end badly. You're good. You're good. We're good. We're all You're... patiently waiting for the butter spreader. The butter. Here comes the butter spreader. Okay. So I'm going to get this a little bit gooeyed up. Do you see how I just did that? Got a little gooeyed up. Okay, everyone can see. Good, good, good. And here we go. Oh. And across. Now you didn't put your stencil, you didn't tape it down, you didn't stick I it did. to anything. It's just no. on a piece of paper. Yes, yes. <laughs> you sound guilty, like, oh, I did something wrong. No, I mean, that's fine. You don't have to have all the fancy gadgets to do stenciling. Copy paper and your stencil and whatever you're trying to put it on is great. And I can, I, I can jiggle a little. Oh, 
and I want to get a little bit right there, right over there. Okay, and a little bit there. You're getting, you're really leaning into the New York here. I am, I am, I totally am. Okay, this is what that looks like. It's a lot of fun. And is that where you would potentially do make your own paper with what was left over oh, on that? Oh, that yes, ma'am. I'm going to show you that in two seconds. Hold down at one corner, grab it at the other opposite corner. And if it's being a pain about being picked up, you just see how I'm bending the paper. And now I've got it. And now I'm pulling away. It goes, this goes straight into the water. Now, would you just take a look at this? Look at how gorgeous that is. That's so pretty. I love it. And just that contrast. It's like the sun is setting and it's hitting. You could even do it the other way around. So it's like the tops of the trees oh, or having the sun glint on it kind of thing, you know, and oh, then it's getting darker in the bottom. Yeah. So you could flip it any way you want. It'd oh, yeah. Awesome. You could, I mean, and honestly, you can determine what the colors are that you want. I mean, I just happen to use, so it's stormy, it's sea glass, sea, sea, sea glass, and then beach grass, driftwood, dune, oyster, you know, but it, but you could do the pastel tones if you want. You can do anything you want. And then, because none of this is going back into my, into the jars, that would be, that would not be the best idea, but I have all of this here. So, and I'm going to take just a piece of my watercolor paper and I'm just going to make a pretty thing like that, just like that, leaving it alone. But look at this. I could cut a sheet right here. I could even cut this here. I could stamp something over here on the corner. So I have this, this, I mean, and I just have a ton of these that I just kind of keep. I have them in, you know, in order with the colors I like, and I'll pick this up and this will be like smooth and delicious. And hey, hon, can you put that over there for me? It's wet. I have my assistant over here helping me. <laughs> but uh, so there's that. And then, so I'm going to save this one for a moment. And I, you notice I still have stuff here. So you could do a bunch of things. You can just put, you know, make yourself a little piece here. I also, sometimes I'll pull out like a small punch. Here I have a five eighths of an inch punch. I will punch a shape out of here and use it as when it's dry, obviously, but I'll use it as um, like a little decoration. And then the other thing I'll do is I'll just take a sponge brush with a little bit of water and I'll go over my watercolor paper a little bit, just making it a little bit moist. And then I'll just make some paper. Because it is all water soluble. You can blend it with water to thin it. So you can technically watercolor with it too, if you wanted to. I, I do. Right? Exactly what yeah. I do. I watercolor with it, blend it, get a little ombre. I mean, look at this right here. This Imagine I cut this right here. Maybe I have a rubber stamp with a boat over here and, you know, um, things get rough. Just tilt, you know, tilt your, tilt yourself to your sails to, you know, to the wind and I, you got it. And you can put a little darker colors right here. And so I, I use everything. I don't let anything go to waste. Look at that. And now I'm ready. Just, so I'll just show you off. Here you go. Off camera could be a cute little square card. Nothing is wasted. I, of course, I'm going to use this one when we say goodbye, but yeah. That's, that's <laughs> you could even pull out your art journal and just do, put some splashes of color on, on an open art journal page, let it dry, and then you've got the base going for your next page. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, this is this is Cubist. This is TCW 248S. Um, this is almost dry. You really do want it to be dry, but let's say I it's dry, and then I take a few of these, and I just load up my stencil like this. Look, this is a little booger. We don't need that to be picked up. It was already starting to dry. Um, and then I just scrape. Look at this. If you're, if you're, you know, you're into like kind of some messy work and then I peel this back. Look, now I have a kind of a tone on tone, texture on texture. I love it. Somebody's asking, what's the best system? Do you recommend upside down? Oh, dried, cool, dry place. Like what's your, what's your best tips here? Ah, well, you know, hang on. I'll, show, I'll grab my, um, I, I put them in little drawers, but I have a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> you think, do you think you might have a few? <laughs> I, have, I have like, 
I have these and this is, these are my slim lines and I have them in here flat. But if you just have a few, um, anything that's six by six, um, slim line, those can all just go into sheet protectors into a three ring binder. That's really easy. What about the stenciled butters though? What's the best way to store those? <laughs> I shouldn't even show you. I, wait, wait. <laughs> That's how I store we them. Want it. We <laughs> want to see the real. I just, I honestly, I just, I either a shoe box or I stack them. I love to look at them because they're so pretty. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys all my way that I store them. So I can. There's a couple I'm missing, but it's just so pretty to look at. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm in love with. So that's where I keep mine. That is <laughs> right awesome. There. Love, 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 love. So yeah, that was my, that was my uh, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Awesome. Well, do you want to turn your camera around? I'll pull you off screen and we'll have a little chit chat before we sign off. Yep. Yep. All right. So she is going to flip her camera around real fast. So just as a heads up, we are going to, I'm going to stand up and sit down and just enjoy the show just like everybody else who's been watching right now so i want to say thank you for everybody who's coming she is flipping her camera jamie is doing that and you can grab all of the beautiful stencils and stencil butters and other products i've put the link to over at scrapbook.com so if you wanted to grab like a catherine pooler ink which works phenomenally with that with the stencil butters layered on top up about that is one of our classes we're going to be doing i believe we're doing that class tomorrow as part of the retreat and so um Oh, my mic is cutting in and about when I move. Oh, I'll stop moving. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, let me pull Jamie back in. Here we go. Hey. There we go. Yeah. And just as a heads up, every now and then, and I don't know if it's already over or if it's still yet to come, but uh, Crafters Workshop and Scrapbook.com work together phenomenally, and they have little fun gifts that come out every now and then. So keep your eyeballs open over there because you might get a little stencil thrown in. And sometimes they have exclusive products only available over at Scrapbook.com compared to some of the other stores. So just keep your eyes open over there. Awesome. And all right. We do a lot of special stuff with the local retailers as well. So, you know, we just try to make sure that, you know, we are there for you and we know that you love to create and that you're artistic and sometimes you need just a little bit of help. And so we, we try to make lots of fun things available, either whether you shop in your local scrapbook store or you shop at scrapbook.com where we, we're just like you, you know, we, we have craft days here in our kitchen. <laughs> I want to come. <laughs> I if you tell me you're coming, I've also, you know, who else sometimes comes up this way is um, Eileen Hull. <clears throat> She's from this area too. So, and sometimes and that Sharon would be fun to get us all together is up in Maine. So yeah, we could, all of our, all of our, all our designers, you know, come down and play with us. Yeah. That'd be cool. Oh, and then somebody says, are you in New York? Yes. Yes, ma'am. We are right, right in Westchester County. 35 minutes north of New York City. So we have a giveaway. One of our lucky winners or one of our viewers, if you've entered into the giveaway already, we have a plethora. Well, there we go. We have, I'm right in the middle here, I'm going the wrong way. We have a stencil bundle to give away. There is another one we're going to be giving away at the end of the retreat. It's going to be in our uh, final closing party. So there's still time to enter into that. So make sure you go to the giveaways page. Link is down in the information section for your chance to enter. But we're going to drum, wall, drum roll, hang on, right where our winner is. I can't talk right now. Apparently, I'm having a hard time getting words out of my mouth. So, but our amazing winner of our stencil butter ready drum roll. Yay! <laughs> we have Laura from Michigan. Is MI Michigan? Is that Michigan? MI? MI is Michigan. Okay. I stuck at those. I know TX, I know NY, New York. Those are easy, but we have Laura from Michigan. I will be sending out the emails shortly after the retreat is over. So by next week, I will be sending out the emails so I can gather your information and I will pop these in the mail for you. So yeah. they'll be headed to you. Exciting, exciting. Then you can try and then you have to go get stencil butters and play and have all kinds of fun. <laughs> and what we were doing today with the stencil butters, that is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of the colors. You saw me hold out the my palette of all my yummy colors. I mean, just take a look. Look at, look at, look at. There's so many. There's so many. I will have to say my other favorite color. I mean, come on. I love it. 
<laughs> but yes, there is a wide range of colors. So make sure you go take a look over and they, you can purchase directly from scrapbook.com, but also from the crafters workshop. So it's crafter shop crafters workshop. How's it go? Wstencils.com. There uh, we go. Oh, wait, see, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I know it's like <laughs> PCW stencils.com. <laughs> but wherever you get them, honestly, whatever works for you, support, you know, and, and our, all of our stuff is American made, North American made. So, um, yeah, whoever you buy it from, we thank you. Oh, there was a question. Do they have to be stored upside down? No, <laughs> I just do that so I can see the colors easy when I pull out my tree. Otherwise the tops are all white. And so I do that just for me so I can go, Oh, I want that color and that color and that color, and I can easily grab them. So no, it does not have to be stored that way. I do the same thing. It's it just it easy to find them. Visual thing. <laughs> And it's pretty. I like it. You know, it's like, it's that colors. Oh uh, yeah. We're in the same mode. We're in the same mind. <laughs> All right. If there's any further questions, I will go back and take a look at these. If there's anything else. Um, oh wait, there is another question. Somebody said, whoops, hang on. Uh, can I come and play? <laughs> uh, I got it. I got uh, it. Why do we all come and play? I swore oh. with yeah. Sorry. No, no, no. It's my fault for trying to talk on top of you. But there is another question is what is the shelf life of them? Honestly, I have had them for years. I did find that one dried out and I was like, what happened to that? And then I looked at it and it had a crack across the, the oh. lid. And I'm like, Jamie Lynn, I think I dropped it and didn't notice that I cracked it. So if you if you close the lids, I had one lady tell me that my favorite color is the one that dried out. I said, when you use it, do you keep it open while you're using it? And she goes, yeah. I said, well, you know how it dries on your project? It dries in the jar too. So you've got to cover it, cover it, cover it, cover it, cover it, cover it. And then I don't think you'll have a problem. It should just last and last. Yeah, I've had some that have been three, four years going easily and no problems. I go in there and there's zero problems with the drying out, like not an issue compared to some of the other ones I've had. I go back, I'm like, I know it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. And it goes on glides just as good as everything else. So, um, oh, and somebody's asking, do you, do you still currently have a store? Cause you started with a store. Do you still have one? I closed it. I miss it. That's why I have to go visit everybody else's stores and go play there. So I hope that you will support your local scrapbook store. They do a hard, hard job of staying open and competing with, with a lot of bigger stores, but they have those great classes and all the ladies who do those, those nice uh, retreats, you know, so those are your places to connect and get, find your happy space. And come or virtual retreats like we're doing right now. Right? And <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much for everybody for coming and watching. That is a wrap for our Makers Retreat for today, but we'll be back tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Central. And thank you so much, Jamie, for joining us. It has been a truly a pleasure having you on my channel today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right. Have a wonderful time, everybody. Bye. Bye. -bye.